Hello besties. Good morning. Happy Sunday. We are doing doing the Sunday chores, um, which tends to be a lot of chores because I feel like they all get pushed to this day. So I'm trying to get ahead of it by <laughs> starting the laundry early. We have like a true mountain of laundry today. It's, it's truly no joke. Um, but I wanted to film today to kind of show like a very low key cozy day and just give you guys some updates on how Darcy and the puppy are doing and what we do to still have fun within our means at the moment. Like we can't leave the house for hours and hours and hours at this point and the puppy's too little to go with us. So just making sure we are still enjoying this October. I'm gonna go ahead and start the next load <laughs> of laundry and then reward myself by making a coffee. I'll show you my new Nespresso pods. And then we have a few packages to open. Sorry about the angle change, by the way, if I'm being genuine. The video cut because I ran out of storage. Basically my everyday life. But we'll open those packages as a reward with the coffee. And basically if anything, we just want to reach the vibe that Darcy has set for the day. Feeling as cozy as Darcy tends to feel. Huh. Huh. You're gonna have fun with us. Very nice. See, exactly. That's the vibe. Besties, the coffee is officially. I don't need to say besties. What do I need to call them? Meatloafs. Meatloafs? Yeah. Okay. Hey, little meatloafs. My coffee is made. And I did add an extra double shot. If you were watching closely, you might have noticed. It's necessary today. Very much so. But as we said, my reward for working on the laundry. Is my coffee and then I'm gonna officially unbox my packages from the last few weeks because I was out of town so a few of these are spooky but I do have to preface by saying I have a few things for the holiday after this holiday I won't even say the c word I'm not gonna say it to you but you know what I'm trying to say I debated if I should show you or not but I wanted to show you because in case you love them and you want them too you have time to go get them right we're all on the same page so Listen, we're not gonna spend time talking about them in depth, okay? But I am gonna show those. So, starting out, we have something very precious for the wee puppy. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so nicely done. This brand is called Pugs to Persians. My friend recommended it um, because we needed a very small collar for him. And I don't think we have Darcy's puppy collar anymore. Okay, they have little instructions on how to use it. And then here it is. Oh my gosh, it is petite. Hopefully it fits in fine. And they gave a little cat sticker for the cat people out there. <laughs> um, okay, here it is. It is a cat collar, so it makes sense that they gave us a cat sticker. Um, but we thought he was little enough that it would work fine. And it has a little charm on it. Size tip, the color, color may look small but it adjusts to be much larger. Okay, so it should be perfect. Okay, we'll show it to you later when we put it on him and I need to get him a name tag. But Darcy's name tag, if you guys have seen it, is like huge. So I'm trying to decide if I should get the same one so that they match or if I should get them both new ones, I don't know. If you guys like your dog's collar, dog's name tag, if you have a name tag you like <laughs> or a brand that you've gotten it from, let me know in the comments because I need to look into it. All right, next, so I did order a book from Thrift Books. Um, really, it was just a good price, and I didn't have this one in my collection from books that I loved when I was younger. 
However, I never think the quality is as good as they say it's going to be. This was like very good quality and it has a huge dent here and a lot of discoloration. Like truly, I don't trust thrift books as far as I can throw them. So this is not my favorite and I should have known better, but I will probably still throw it in the collection because what am I gonna do, you know? <sighs> kind of a bummer. Okay, last thing that is spooky and then I'll show the other two holiday things. But this, they had a sale the other day at Target and I had to order them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they might be too big for me. This is it's a woman's nine or 10. Ooh, I'll have to try them on. Cause they didn't show sizes, so they just said medium. So I assumed that a medium would fit me cause I thought the smalls wouldn't when I saw them in stores. Wait, okay, we'll see about these, but look how cute they are. They might be a little too big. They might have to be a gift either for my husband or I'll have to reorder, so we'll see. But they're so cute, look so cozy. And we have like, you guys, we only have like two weeks left to enjoy spooky stuff. Sorry, sorry to say, but. But the season is flying by. So I want to quickly show the cute thing we found on Etsy. I was actually looking for a Halloween version of this, but I couldn't find one I liked for this year. So. So we ended up finding this listing that was pretty inexpensive. It also came with this, which I forgot it came with, but um, it came with a wine stopper. I think that's what this guy is, a wine topper stopper. Um, but a, what we actually ordered it for was the cocktail picks. And these kind of remind me of those glasses that are really popular, you know? I feel like they, who makes those? Is it Pottery Barn? I should have looked it up. Pottery Barn or Anthropology or whoever. But you know what I'm talking about. These are handmade art glass cocktail picks and they're all different. Anyways, um, I thought these would be super fun for dirty martinis. So had to pick those up and they would look cute on display. So I can't wait to decorate for that when it's time. It's not time yet. And lastly, I got something that's kind of for Brendan. Um, unfortunately, Brendan's favorite holiday is Christmas, so I'll have to show him these. But I got the 100% cotton sheets from Threshold at Target. They were doing like a 30% off all Threshold sheets and stuff. So I was like, okay, if I'm gonna get these, I might as well get them now. And then that way we'll actually be able to use them for the full season. But yeah, this is what they look like. They're little hollies with the red. I think they're cute and subtle enough that I feel like our top blanket can still be neutral. So yeah, I'm happy with those. We'll have to get Brennan's opinion. We'll have to call him in. Hey, Brennan, come take a look. That's... I love them. Do you really? Yeah, nice and, nice and festive without being too over the top. Are you shattered that they're not flannel? That does hurt me a little bit, yeah. They're cotton. Do you guys like flannel sheets or cotton? Because I cannot do flannel. I sweat so much in flannel sheets. I only like flannel during winter, honestly. Anyways, they're cute though. <laughs> they're cute. Um, so that is everything. We'll bring Bingley in with his new collar to show you guys because Brennan's been working on it. Come here. Are you gonna come here? Let's see how it looks on him, his little kitty cat collar. Come here, cutie. Here we are. Hi. <laughs> he is a nibbler. Everyone thinks you're giving kisses. You're really nibbling. Okay, can you see the collar, you guys? Oh, I think it's so cute on him. Oh, it's perfect. And Darcy has his on too. I should show you guys Darcy's. Um, he's got his like Halloween collar too. So anyways, the boys are looking festive. We're feeling festive. Oh, are you gonna bring Darcy? Okay, Darcy's coming over. Thank goodness we have Brennan on standby, you guys, to do this. I can. Oh. If it's easier. Do you wanna show? Okay. There's Darcy's, you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but it has the 
candy cane or candy corn. Oh my god. In the Christmas spirit. Shh, no, I'm not. It has the candy corns, jack o' lanterns, ghosts. Anyways, they're super cute. This one was from Pugs to Persians. This is from a brand called Fuzz. It's on there. What is it, Darcy? Oh, is it right by you, B? Fuzz? Fuzz Yard. Fuzz Yard. I thought it was Fuzz Yard. Okay. So those are their collars. They're such festive boys. Are you nibbling at your brother? He's a nibbler, you guys. Gotta get him out of the frame. Gotta get him out. Get him out. Get him get out. out. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you to our stage manager. Um. Anyways, now that we have the big things out of the way, we gotta figure out how to spend our Sunday. It's time for lunch, so I think I think we're gonna heat up pizza from last night because we got the jack-o'-lantern pizza at Papa Murphy's, which is just a favorite. And I'm putting it here to remind you guys to get it before the end of the season. On Halloween, it is always super busy. So it's kind of nice to get it maybe a week or so before. Up to you, of course, but just know what you're getting yourself into if you're trying to go day of to get it. But it was delicious, exactly what you want from a jack-o'-lantern pizza. So we'll heat that up today. And watch a little hockey, you guys. It is hockey season. I know that feels wintry, but season started, y'all. We just finished our first week of our fantasy hockey league and first week of the league. So we are tuned in practically every night to the hockey games. If you guys are hockey fans, let me know. Who are you rooting for? How is your fantasy team doing? Suddenly, I care more about hockey than I ever have in my entire life. So it's been very exciting. So I'm gonna take a little lunch break, watch some hockey with B, and then I wanna actually talk to you guys about some Switch games. Cause I, I need a cozy game. I need your help. Let's discuss. are changing they're evolving and that's what Sundays are for um, so instead of playing my switch right now we're gonna push that into the evening portion of tonight's video so for now I've decided I want to take a little bit of a soak a little bath time with the Kindle because I do have a couple arcs that I need to be working on so I think that would be a fun relaxing like midday thing I know it's weird to midday bath. Is it weird? I have all the time in the world. Why wouldn't I take a midday bath? Anyways, so I wanted to show you the bath bomb I just got at Lush. Actually, Brendan wanted to see it too. Let's see. Do you want to come see it? Hi. Do you want to sniff? Oh, he is tired. Okay. So I wanted to show Brendan too because he didn't get to see it yet. This is the bath bomb I chose. Oh, very cute. Do you like him? Smell it. It smells really good. It smells really good. Yeah, it smells really, really good. This is like, I don't know what Lush smell this is. It's very kind of citrusy, but it's so cute. So I feel like, I think is that a good view? I feel like I'm gonna have to go ahead and use that. Did you only get one? Today. I only got one, I behaved myself. I only got one. That's wild. <laughs> say goodbye, Bingley. Bye, Bingley. Give me some goodbye. <laughs> But that will be the bath bomb I use, and I am gonna crack open a poppy. You guys, if you've not tried the orange cream flavor, what have you been doing? You need to get on this flavor. It is the best flavor, right next to Doc Pop. Those are probably my two favorite ones. So anyways, I got a cute glass so I can feel fancy. Got the cute glass, the orange cream, and the Kindle, and bath bomb. Actually, this is gonna be two trips up to the bath. But that's the plan for this afternoon. After that, I think I'm gonna get cozy and play on the Switch and make cookies. So I feel like that's a perfect evening plan. Uh, Chef Brendan, what is on the dinner menu tonight? We've got chicken pot pie, the old American classic. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be delicious. I'll show you it. I did have an idea to make it kind of cute and spooky. We'll see if that comes to fruition. So that's the evening plan and I feel like it's perfect. It's gonna be super relaxing and delightful.
We are out of the bath. So nice, so relaxing, such a nice break. And I tried to put my phone away for all of it. Maybe not all of it, but most of it. Anyways, I got all the ingredients out to make some pumpkin cookies. I will leave the recipe in the description if it's something that, you know, you fancy. But I love making these. I don't love them quite as much as I love pumpkin cake that I make. If you guys want that recipe, let me know. Because that one is like a showstopper. But these are really delicious as well. So I thought I'd do some relaxing baking. And I'll put some cute baking shots in. We have hockey starting at 5.30 today. So then I'll put on some hockey. But for now, enjoy some baking ambiance. <laughs> The thing is, these cookies are huge. Um, I'm going to let them cook a little extra uh, to hopefully make sure that they are in fact cooked through. I honestly, I don't know if I made these last year. And so part of my concern is that I don't know what I'm doing. That's definitely concerning. But we'll see. Hopefully they'll still taste good. These are more what you're aiming for size wise and shape wise so yeah ignore the first batch second batch is always the best batch here's the second batch which i think i'm going to also let go maybe for an extra minute i like a tiny bit of goldenness and they are such like ooey gooey or like fluffy i guess cookies that i think you can cook them a little extra and it doesn't ruin them so my crust is ready okay do y'all hear that it is time to work on this pie crust I'm trying to do something cute with it. I gotta, I gotta catch a puppy here. I am trying to do something cute with it. We will see how that goes. But we'll film it and we'll show it after. And then we get to eat it. Yeah. You guys see him? He's vicious. He's playing with his Kong right now, which is like maybe his biggest obsession. What do you think, V? Probably his I think the Kong rate's above everyone else in the house. It's pretty high. So, we'll let him play and we'll get to work on the pie crust. Back to hockey. Everyone say a quick prayer for the Avalanche team and um, I'll check in with you and tell you how the game's going. And that'll probably be my last check-in for the night because then it'll be bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good time. Bedtime's the best time. Seriously. Good night besties. I'm sorry, Brenda would prefer I and my little meatloaves. Yeah, that's Brenda's preference. Um, 
I have been playing the game while we've been watching the Avalanche game. Gotta say it's a hard night to be an Avalanche fan, but we have those days. We've gotta have the hard times, have the great times. Um, the game so far is very, it's not click and point, but it's very storyline, so you're just moving kind of from one point to the next. Um, so I don't have many thoughts on it yet because I just started it. But I will say it does have a warning at the beginning that our main character is in the healthcare profession. So uh, it does deal with illness, death, grief, other things. So just so you know, if you pick it up, it's going to have some heavier topics to it. But I will definitely give you updates on it if you're interested. And with that said, thank you for following along with me this Sunday. I had so much fun sharing a cozy day with y'all. And I can't wait for the next one. Cheers, my little meat loves. Good night.